Maker Fab sent me this cute little 480x480 ESP32 based touchscreen display. I'm going to use this screen to create a touch panel for my home automation system. In this video, I'm going to unbox and show you guys how to program and use this cute little touchscreen with the help of some examples. You can order this touchscreen from makerfabs.com. Makerfabs have a pretty good range of electronic products listed on their website. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the 4 inch ESP32 based 480x480 touchscreen display. The screen is pretty cheap and is absolutely worth buying. The product's website has reference wiki, data sheets and GitHub resources. I found these resources very helpful while setting up the screen with my computer. So, this is what came in the mail bag. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Inside the box is a 4 inch ESP32 based captive IPS touchscreen display, a 16 gig micro SD card, and a 3 ohm 4 watt very loud speaker. Let's have a closer look at the display. The display comes with a 3 ohm 4 watt plug and play speaker. The sound quality is pretty decent. The rest of the specifications are all listed on the screen. Now let's have a look at the back of the display. The display comes with a ESP32 microcontroller with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability. It comes with a 16 gig micro SD card. It also has a LiPo battery socket and charger port. The USB Type-C connector makes the product idle for any IoT application, electronic photo frames, home automation, etc. Alright, let's plug in the USB cable and let's see if the screen comes preloaded with anything. Hang on, did I just see Spongebob? <laughs> As you can see, the screen is very responsive and the default application displays the X and Y coordinate of touch on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Before uploading the sketch, you need to install the ESP32 board software development kit in your Arduino IDE. Open Arduino IDE, go to File, Preferences. Enter the URL displayed on screen to the additional board manager URLs field, then click the OK button. Now go to the board manager and search for ESP32 and press the install button for ESP32 by ESP Res if systems. Then go to tools, board, ESP32 Arduino and select the ESP32 S3 dev module from the list of boards. Then go through all the additional board configs and make sure they all align with what you see on screen. Remember, different PCs have different serial com ports. So the one on your machine may not be same as what you see on screen. Next, we need to install a few Arduino libraries to our demo sketches. Go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Library and wait for the library manager to load the list of available libraries. Then one by one add the following libraries. TAMC underscore GT911, please install version 1.0.2. TFT underscore ESPI, LV underscore examples. GFX underscore library underscore 4 underscore Arduino, please install version 1.3.1. You also need to install MF underscore LVGL library from the link provided in the description below. Please go ahead and download the ESP32 S3 parallel TFT with touch 4 inch example from GitHub. I have provided the link in the description below. Once downloaded, extract the examples folder to a location of your choice and then one by one load the examples to the onboard ESP32 microcontroller. The first sketch that I'm loading to the board is the LVGL widgets demo. Go to the LVGL widgets folder inside the examples folder. Open the LVGL widgets.ino file and load the sketch to the microcontroller. Once loaded, this is what you see on the display. The second example that I'm going to show you guys is the LVGL FPS test. Go to the FPS test folder inside the examples folder. Open the FPS test.ino file and load the sketch to the microcontroller. For this example, you need to have the Arduino graphics library pre-installed on your machine. Once loaded, this is what you see on the display. Down at the bottom left hand corner, you see the frames per second. The next example is one of my favorite ones. Go to the PDQ graphics test folder inside the examples folder. Open the PDQ graphics test.ino file and load the sketch to the microcontroller. Once loaded, this is what you see on the display. 
have a look at the things you can do with this cute little display. Graphics, menu items, tabs, check boxes, calendars and more. The possibilities are endless. This cute little screen can also be used for creating a musical photo frame. The image and the audio files are stored on the attached micro SD card and displayed using the 4 inch TFT display. You can download the code and the libraries from the link provided in the description below. I'm going to use this screen to create a touch panel for my home automation system. I will cover that up in my upcoming video. All in all, this is an absolute masterpiece. The best thing is if you have any issues using the screen, there's a tech team to provide you with their valuable technical support. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.